did a little repair on the rudder last night. Feeling pretty pleased about it. Got to scrub it up and sand. Also been filling the deeper divots in the hull. See all the little <laughs> bunch of little eggs there, so I can find them. I picked this up yesterday from the welder. Super excited about this. This is like I've been trying to get this done since August, and he did a really nice job on the welds, I thought, and uh, I'm really pleased with it. It's aluminum. This is going to go in the top of the wind vane, and it's, uh, it holds the sail, so it, it uh, controls the working of the wind vane. So, super excited about that, but for now, I'm focused on doing the bottom. I got all suited up and masked to do this red last bit of sanding on the hull. And I realized I forgot to scrub it off, so I gotta do that first. This is what I'm using for to coat the bottom, bare fiberglass. It's a uh, Seahawk Tough Stuff Premium Blister Protection. And someone gifted me these two little quartz, which I am going to use tomorrow to do a test on the rudder. Actually mixed it up today. Uh, my friend David suggested that I mix it up to see, uh, to make sure it would kick, because we don't know how old it is. I have two more four more gallons of it <laughs> so I have them upside down hoping to get them mixed up better I have that I got all my painting stuff trays and rollers and oh my gosh all this stuff and there's the bottom paint on there which is also a Seahawk product which is why I decided to go with the to the Seahawk barrier coat I have the rudder all sanded and mostly fared. I left these holes on purpose so that I can see how the coverage is with the tough stuff. Just was headed out of my walk and what do I see? But oh my god they're coming for Lady Aquitaine. They're gonna put her in. I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited. Just a little bit nervous. <laughs> oh! But I've got the Danish Prince here to help. <laughs> you can get a feel for how big she is by the size of the guys working underneath. <laughs> There's space under the keel now. She's up in the air. Holy cow. There she comes, Lady Aquitaine's lady. How do you feel? Nervous. <laughs> nervous. I'm scared and excited. It's very exciting, but it's terrifying yeah, too. <laughs> Your baby, she's up in the oh air. My gosh. Oh, he's pulling his stands out. <laughs> oh my gosh. The last bit of paint on the keel. I think Garrett, when they get it in, it'll be so far out he can't get on the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God! You, you, you were very close to the drink there, mate. <laughs> He almost went over the side trying to get aboard. It's a bit of a jump. He's going to be sore tomorrow after that. <laughs> I hope he didn't hurt himself. No, he didn't. I took the bottom coat and some bottom paint to a local store and they shook it up for me which was very nice and uh, now I am going to 
wipe the hull down with denatured alcohol since I can't get the official wax remover stuff that I that Seahawk makes. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna do a test on the rudder. And if I said I wasn't worried about it, I would be lying. Yesterday I scrubbed the hull down with water and some of the neighbors came by and were get looking at me askance like um, you know you're gonna have to let that dry out real good. And um, so I did this little test um, in which you put a piece of plastic, you tape it to the hull, and if condensation builds up on it, then the hull is wet and it's dry as bone. So <laughs> I did something right. With all the rain we've been having, the mosquitoes have been particularly bad. So <clears throat> getting it really hard with the, the smoky coil. I got an extra zapper, so Skeeter be gone. A little mixing station. Stuff is like really super thick, so I'm very grateful for the drilled mixer. And I had this professionally shaken. Sun's gone down, and I wish say that it was cooler but it isn't it's very hot but I managed to get one coat on the rudder and it's not perfect it's got some little pinholes in it so I mixed up another batch now that it's recoat time Next up, another batch. It's uh, inductioning or whatever the verb is. It's doing its thing in the cup. And I'm going to mix this, some of this high load filler. It's talc. I'm going to mix some of that in it and trowel it into those holes. And <coughs> hope for the best. Pretty pleased with my uh, organizational strategy here. Part one, part two, and the mix. Just to keep the tools separate so nothing gets contaminated. Fingers crossed. Well, I had the camera all set up to film my painting the rudder and I forgot to press the shutter button. So anyway, it's um, all coated now. I think it looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but neither am I. I can't find any more pinholes. So, okay. That's four coats of Tough stuff epoxy barrier coat and I'm gonna do one coat of bottom paint and then she can sit for a while while I do the rest. Oh. This is why we have this small boat. I spent the day today grinding and sanding the water line because that stuff was peeling off. And I just put uh, some varying compound on the, this back part here and I'm pretty pleased with it. I wiped it all down real good with uh, the denatured alcohol and I'm feeling pretty good about that. It's that's three squirts in it. I think it only took me maybe 20 or 30 minutes and uh, it started to kick so it was time to stop and I, I'm hoping it's going to sand pretty easy and and then that barrier coat is going to go on zippity doo dah. I'm up early this morning, ran out of epoxy last night, so I had to stop at three and go run to the store to get another gallon of epoxy for the fairing, but it's all going well. I just have uh, oh, about half of the water line here on the starboard side to get off, 
and this is the part I started the other day and yesterday I did all the way to here which now looks like a fair bit but then if you look at the rest there's quite a bit more to do <laughs> Eight percent battery left, but I am wiping the hull in preparation for putting the first coat of barrier coat on. I'm using the denatured alcohol recommended by uh, Seahawk to clean any trace of wax or impurities off the hull. And I have filled and sanded for two weeks, and I am ready to do the the barrier coat. And I'm a little nervous about it, but my friend Ian here is. Why am I nervous about it? Uh, it's two part paint stuff and it's a little scary in this heat, it kicks off pretty fast. But you've done the research, haven't you? Yes, yes. I talked to the company and they said it should be fine. One coat in the morning, one coat in the afternoon, tomorrow one coat in the morning, and then uh, anti felling. Turn, turn, turn. This is my friend Ian. Hello. He's the chief procrastina anti procrastination officer and all around great guy. <laughs> Captain of the Lady Aquitaine. You're too nice. You're far too nice. <laughs> I'm pretty pleased with myself. <laughs> Two liters of the stuff, one liter of part A and one liter of part B. Two liters covered the whole starboard side is coated, one coat. So happy about this. <laughs> but you can see here there's one, uh, what I did is I took the Dremel tool and I um, just made the hole bigger. My plan is to thicken some of this stuff with talc, which I got, which is the recommended uh, filler stuff. So when I get done with the next batch, I'll take a little talc and make paste and fill these guys up. And then they'll get uh, a couple more coats. And uh, so half a gallon is covering one side. So that means I should have enough for at least three coats. But I must say, I did a stellar job of the fairing. I mean, the hull is pretty smooth. <laughs> pretty impressed with myself. Um, putting on the anti fouling today. She's got four coats of barrier, and it's time for anti fouling. This is how long I've had this anti fouling. The cans are getting rusty. <laughs>
Simmons, oh my gosh. You make it look so easy. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like half done already. Man, you're fast. Awesome. I have more work to do. Pretty bad. <laughs> but the rest looks really good. She's all black, spots are all painted. I did an extra coat of the water line. If you recall, this is the uh, intake for the salt water in the galley. And it's all clean, painted. Airing down here in the spots. It's really hard to get to under there. And I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think I filled all the holes, all the pinholes. And uh, just gonna slap some paint on it when they go to splash her. I must say, I rather think she looks very beautiful with her black ball. Here we have the new through hole seacock for the sink drain and the engine and the cockpit drain. And this is the engine intake, all cleaned up, painted. Very exciting. Scheduled for Monday to go in. Hoping she floats. <laughs> 